Ain't got the exact right setup, but it works. Got a little washer there, flat washer, and you can see it's it's been used. Somebody's tightened it down a lot in the past. Uh, it's been like that since I've been using it, but and then I got the bottom one right there that takes up the last little bit of slack in the clutch. I'll set it to the side over here, and then I'm gonna take this needle bearing and see this will have to be cleaned. So I'm gonna put it right here and go ahead and clean it too. And then I've got some spacers back here that go on the motor. I'll pull them off and wipe them things off. And that's it. Okay. <coughs> so now we'll go ahead and uh, lay the super clean to this stuff. You can just kind of see it just eats the dirt right off. I mean, you can be pretty liberal with this stuff. You don't have to be. This is diluted five to one. So, I mean, right there is proof you can use this stuff for a long time. And just take you a brush. Just wipe around in there, you know, break up all the dirt because then you will be able to go back with your rag and just be able to go back with the rag and just mop it all up. And a microfiber rag probably will do a good a job as any. Or if you don't have those, you can probably use paper towels. Something. Just something to get it off there. Just take an old rag. Just take your old rag and wipe them off. Some people may clean their motors a different way, but I mean, this right here works pretty good. You can see it kind of, let me lean it back here so I can take a look at it. Oh yeah, you got it good and clean. You know, it's important really to keep your stuff cleaned up if you're gonna race and won't do any good. You will be able to find problems that you might not see if you ain't really looking your stuff over before you go to the track and then you're gonna go to the track and you're gonna end up having a headache instead of just going up there and turning a lap so it's real important to do your maintenance at the house wherever you're working in i mean heck you might be working out in the yard i don't know but uh i feel like it's pretty important because you can actually look all this stuff over and see if you can find damage and you know, once we get this cleaned up, we'll take and uh, change the oil and I'll make sure all those bolts are tied on the side cover right here. And uh, we'll recheck our motor mount bolts here. Make sure they're good and tight. Check this heat shield, make sure it's good and tight. The chain guard, make sure it's good and tight. You know, just go over it all. Um, that's what you have to do. And these, uh, needle bearings and stuff. We'll go ahead and fool those right quick. It's had a little bit of that super clean sitting on it too. Spacers. I'll probably hit this needle bearing up one more time. And where that's got some grooves in it, it's probably better to use like a toothbrush to clean this part, you know, instead of just the paintbrush, because the toothbrush has uh, got all those little bristles that are kind of stiffer and they can get into the spots that like maybe the paintbrush can't get into. And then just go over the inside too. All right.
Now nah, we're gonna take and uh, since we still got it over here, we'll take some of this denatured alcohol and rinse this stuff off, especially this needle bearing because it's gonna have, you know, it's got those grooves that those little 